lastimó mucho, quedaría mi vida. I would give my life to see my daughter get up of that bed. Immense blood loss and a bullet to a major artery near her clavicle has Lucia Garcia fighting for her life, still in critical but stable condition. We're just trying to stay strong for my sister. Lopez says while she was emotional to get the call about her sister and nephew being gunned down by Garcia's boyfriend, 24-year-old Malik Gill, she says she wasn't shocked, saying her sister and Gill have been in a tumultuous relationship for nearly two years. I think it just came to a point where we as a family felt like unless she decided to walk out of the relationship for good, and there was not a whole lot that we could force her to do. In April, charges were filed against Gill for domestic assault after court documents say he pushed Lucia to the ground and grabbed her by the throat. A warrant was still out for Gill's arrest at the time of the shooting and a no contact order was in place. But Lopez says the two were back together shortly after the incident. She would just make up with him and things would go on like nothing had happened. She is a good girl who made a mistake. Trying to build a family of her own. The family says they hope sharing Lucia and Dominique's story will help other domestic violence victims find the strength and courage to leave before it's too late. You don't want to go through what we're going through or have your family go through what we're going through. There's really no words. Seeing her it breaks our hearts. And her family says while they know she's not out of the woods, they say Lucia is a fighter. Bailey Hurley, Family News Live.